Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this tip I'm going to show you how to do a compression test on your motor. As you can see we have our motor out of the car right now and on the bench so it's a little bit easier to show you guys. Uh, but what you want to do is pick up a compression tester and you can usually get these online or you can get them from AutoZone or Napa or you know Advanced Auto or anything like that. Um, and uh, basically the end goes into the spark plug hole. And uh, you want to check your compression because you know it gives you a good idea if you have a burnt valve or if your rings are bad. Uh, also to tell you, you know, the, the, the power of your motor, if you're lacking power, this could be a reason why, you know, you maybe have low compression. Uh, it could also give you a good indication, you know, if you're looking to buy a bug and you do a compression test, um, whether to steer clear or not. But uh, what you want to do is pull out your spark plug wires. And as you can see, we pulled them out over here. And then you also want to disconnect your center coil wire because you don't want to crank this motor over and have this thing sparking. Um, and then you're going to want to get your spark plug uh, socket, which is usually like 13 16 uh, But the spark plug socket usually has like a, a nice rubber cushion inside to help grab the spark plug uh, and pull it out of the motor easier, as you can see here. You get these at any auto parts store. Okay, and then uh, start turning in your compression tester. And uh, while you're doing this too, lay out your spark plugs uh, in order where you took them out of each cylinder. So you have a good idea of the way they look. Have someone turn the key in the car. And while someone else is on the outside looking at the motor, uh, look at your tester, you look at the gauge. And that's really good. We're in between 120, 150, so I figure like 130 there, 140, something like that. Which is really good. Clear the tester, and then you start putting it into the next uh, cylinder. Someone turn the key, someone in the back looking at the compression, and there we go. Pretty good again. And you don't want anything, yeah, about 10, 15 pounds difference in each cylinder. There shouldn't be any more than that. Same thing here. One, yeah, a little over 120 there. This engine's looking killer, by the way. <laughs> and then, uh, last cylinder. Crank it over. And there you go. 120. Alright, so there's very little difference in between all cylinders, uh, which is pretty good. You don't want to go anything lower than 90 pounds of compression in each cylinder. If you do, like I said, you might have some problems in your, uh, internally, uh, valve, uh, you know, rings. Um, and your motor should be uh, running free and clear, just like this. And, uh, this is a 62 motor that we're doing, a 40 horsepower, 1200 and uh, that we're putting into a uh, 62 restoration. This is the original motor, which is uh, running excellent as you can see. If you have any questions, Chris at ClassicVWBugs.com uh, or my website, www.ClassicVWBugs.com